Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I'm going to run through a trace file I've got here and show you some of the most common things I look for when perusing trace files. And uh, a little bit about this file, it's a two second trace, there's uh, 36,000 packets and it's a 12 meg trace file. Alright, so let's get out of there. Just blindly looking at stuff is going to drive you insane. So what I normally do is just come up here and see if I can cheat. Look for errors. In ICMP. ICMP, the ping protocol, the trace route protocol, but it's also the error messaging protocol. So I use that to see if there's anything going on. And sure enough, wow. So time to live exceeded and destination unreachable, port unreachable. So there's a whole bunch of these things. So let's talk a little bit about ICMP. Oh, yeah, and by the way, a couple of pings here. Uh, time to live exceeded could be there for two reasons. Either somebody's running a trace route, and incrementally uh, it'll time out so you get the routes or the, the hops along the way. Or secondly, you've got an actual problem. These packets are spinning around so many times their time to live finally goes to zero and dies. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to validate this one right now. Easiest way to do this, ICMP, lovely protocol. If you actually look in the uh, ICMP header, you will see an IP header. This is the packet that caused the error, which is really helpful. So now if I go within the ICMP header, within the IP header, and I got the identifier right there. That's a uh, relatively unique sequential number given to every packet that's transmitted. So I'm going to right click on that guy, apply filter, select it. Now it's going to look for just the packets with that identifier. And voila, we've got a whole whack of them. Uh, let me just slide this little guy over here. There we go. So 126 packets are displayed. So if I was to pick one, you can see that the source and destination are the same all the time. And if I come over here and take a look at the MAC address, I can see there's a Cisco address uh, with a 2 alpha 0, 0. Click the next one. Oh, different. Delta Echo Charlie 2. Nice. And then come over here. Oh, we're back to the first one. So they kind of bounce between two interfaces here. If I was to open up the IP header and I look at that time to live on this packet, there it is, 123, 122. 121, so on and so on and so on. And as they rattle back and forth between these interfaces, uh, sooner or later at the bottom here, there it is. ICMP timeout exceeded. So the time to live exceeded in this case because there seems to be a uh, either a routing issue or a routing loop. Now, um, if I see this with many different subnets and many different conversations, I'll assume it's more of a, a loop. And if it's a one-off between two subnets, I'll assume it's more of a configuration issue with that router. So there's this cute little trick to look for, ICMP error, and look for that IP identifier, filter on that, and see what you can find. Have a good day. Bye for now.